Why do we always get the best news dropping when I'm at work and I can't cover it straight away? Anyway, hello friends, welcome to today's video. We are here, we have finally had some news updates, official confirmation about Pokemon Home from the Pokemon Company. So let's dive straight into it. As you can see, earlier today, the Pokemon Company did put this tweet out. So, the hashtag Pokemon Home update you've been waiting for is almost here, trainers. You'll soon be able to link Pokemon Home with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Shining Pearl, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Get all the details here. So, if we hop over to the page that's linked, um, all these links will be down in the description if you want to check them out in your own time and peruse the details we can see now the confirmation we haven't gotten a date confirmed one when the, the release will be but we know we're very soon with this news dropping so expect it pretty soon um you can see the new pokemon home update to add recent pokemon game compatibility so it will be pokemon home 2.0.0 and um, the new update will be arriving soon adding the ability to link pokemon legends arceus pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl along with pokemon sword pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee and pokemon go so we've got compatibility through everything there's this nice kind of art here that shows you that all these games that we have currently in the gen 8 kind of bubble uh, can all be linked to pokemon home are we classing let's go pikachu and eevee in gen 8 I don't know we're going to group it in there for this video anyway so uh, we'll go through a few of the details here um pokemon legends arceus brilliant diamond Shine, and pearl and um, pokemon uh sword and shield will be mutually compatible uh with pokemon home and you will be able to deposit and withdraw pokemon to and from each of these games for example you will be able to take a pikachu uh you caught in pokemon sword and pokemon shield into pokemon legends arceus and brilliant diamond or shining pearl i'm presuming that you're only going to be able to transfer pokemon through these games that are already pre-existing in the game so i'm presuming that you're not going to be able to put a dragapult into brilliant diamond shining pearl or into legends arceus because that pokemon isn't in their respective pokedexes um just to note otherwise though uh please note that transferring pokemon to a game uh they were not originally caught in may cause certain changes to non-moves level and what type of pokeball they were caught in we'll get into the pokeball bit in a minute but that's kind of self-explanatory right they're going into a different game like legends arceus they're going to have different move sets to what they would do in pokemon sword and shield and pokemon brilliant diamond Shine and pearl obviously being a remake and these games are kind of set in the past arceus set in the very past but you know you get the gist of it um so there's the the nice graphic there just shown like we've already seen um and then we go on until now the only pokemon in pokemon home was the national pokedex so that's all we had uh, but starting from version 2.0.0 this update the pokedex from each game will be added so that's super nice so we'll have a pokedex from brilliant diamond Shine, and pearl pokemon sword and shield and then legends arceus as well i don't know if there's any room for a kind of pokemon go dex or whether it'll just be those three games i'm not sure will be interesting to find out i'm sure we'll get more information uh closer to the update or when the update uh comes out um pokemon that aren't in a box when the version 2.0 Point all update is installed uh, such as those that have been traded away will not be registered uh, you can obtain new stickers to edit your profile by completing achievements in the mobile device version of pokemon home these achievements can be completed by meeting certain conditions now we get on to the juice the strange ball since pokemon legends arceus takes place in the distant past of the world of pokemon pokeballs from other games do not yet exist so when a pokemon caught in pokemon brilliant diamond or shining pearl pokemon sword and shield are transferred to pokemon legends arceus they will appear in strange balls those are the green balls i'll throw one up on the screen right now so you can definitely know what one of those is they're quite nice looking pokeballs actually i do like them likewise uh, when pokemon caught in uh, pokemon legends arceus are transferred to only 
Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They will also appear in the Strange Ball. So that's coded in in BDSP, but it will not be coded in in Sword and Shield. So if you are transferring a Pokemon from Legends Arceus to Pokemon Sword and Shield, it will just appear, appear in a, a regular Pokeball because the Strange Ball isn't coded in there. So uh, just bear that in mind if you're kind of wanting to keep your Pokemon in a Strange Ball, because I'm sure for Gen 9, when we get Scarlet and Violet and that compil compatibility is kind of integrated the strange ball will probably carry over so you don't want to trade a pokemon to uh brilliant diamond shannon pearl from legends arceus and then into sword and shield because then it'll get the pokeball and we don't know there's no confirmation here to say whether or not if you transfer that pokemon back to pokemon home it'll go back into its strange ball or not so who knows um and then we've got a bit more linking to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. You can check uh, on the condition of a Pokemon deposited from Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl um, to Pokemon Home as well as their other details. Okay, and link in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, you can view the effort levels of Pokemon deposited from Legends Arceus to Pokemon Home as well as other details. I'm assuming that means like alphas and shinies and other things like that. So that would be pretty nice if that is the case. The objective of Pokemon Legends Arceus is to help compile the Hisui region's first Pokedex. As such, the national Pokedex in Pokemon Home will update its Pokedex entries based on your completion of the Pokedex in Pokemon Legends Arceus save data so that's pretty cool that is really cool that's a nice little feature there that they're doing so there is that real tie in there and I do like that they're doing that if a Pokedex entry in Pokemon Legends Arceus is incomplete you will not be able to see that Pokedex entry in Pokemon Home so you have to complete it in Pokemon Legends Arceus so there's that extra incentive just to have that kind of completion in Pokemon Home um, and then we get on to the special gifts that were rumored in our previous video. Uh, so to celebrate Pokemon Legends Arceus, Brilliant Diamond, Shannon Pearl, and uh, Sword and Shield compatibility with Pokemon Home, you will be a, a gifted special Pokemon when you link each of uh, each game to Pokemon Home. Uh, when you deposit a Pokemon from Pokemon BDSP uh, to the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home, you will receive a Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup with hidden abilities as a mystery gift in the mobile device version of Pokemon Home. Uh, the same thing happens if you, you you kind of send a Pokemon from Legends Arceus to Pokemon Home. Uh, you'll get a mystery gift in the mobile version, but this time it'll be Cyndaquil, Oshawott, and Rowlet as well with them um, maximum effort values it doesn't mention here about their hidden abilities so that'll be interesting but get maximum effort values so that's good as a mystery gift so there's the the six pokemon that you're going to get from just being able to kind of transfer pokemon from these games into pokemon home and uh, this is just basically the news that it is on its way uh, very exciting though and finally getting that confirmation that we had really in that rumor leak from centru central leaks uh of just over a week ago now so everything kind of spot on you would assume what they were tweeting out is kind of correct uh, their source must be pretty good uh, so that's nice to know um, and the the alpha hasn't been confirmed yet whether that will like 100% confirmed it hasn't been confirmed 100% that it will appear in Pokemon home but the information the vagueness of the statement saying that other details from Pokemon Legends Arceus will be able to be viewed I think that says a lot I think we really think well what else would they be talking about there so I'm assuming it's going to be alphas I probably put I'm not a better man, but I would put money on it uh, if I was. So I think it's all good news. We're just waiting now on that official release date. And as soon as we get the information on that, I will drop a video just doing an update of that. And hopefully the next video is actually just going over the the actual update to Pokemon Home and the compatibility and then getting these gift Pokemon and showing you how things work and what you can do to uh, integrate all these different things and uh, transfer Pokemon between all these different titles that we've now got access to. So, hope you've enjoyed the update, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, sorry this one is a little bit late. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I was at work today in the office, so when it dropped, I didn't have the chance to just drop the video straight up. I would have liked the opportunity to, but I'm trying to keep on top of things as best I can, and I appreciate all the support. So thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. And I will catch you all for another video on the channel very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.